Today, I'll walk you through how to add a PDF viewer in WordPress. By default, when you add a PDF file to your post, then they can click on it and open it up in a new tab. The problem with this is it takes them away from your website and when they close it out, then they're no longer on your website. Instead, we'll walk you through how to actually embed it so that it's viewable and it can be seen right on your blog post. So to do that, let's head over to our WordPress dashboard. We're going to be installing a plugin. So we'll go to plugins, add new, and we want to search for a plugin called PDF Embedder. This is the one we want. So let's go ahead and install it and make sure to stick around to activate it as well. Great. Once it's activated, you can either come here to settings, or if you ever need to come back from your dashboard, you can go down to settings, go to PDF Embedder to make your changes. From here, you can set up the default viewer settings. You can do max here or make the changes. You can also choose where to show the toolbar location. They even have a premium version that adds options to download, continuous page scrolling. But for most people, the free version is just fine. So let's scroll down and save changes. And now we need to add or embed a PDF to a post or a page. So I'm going to go to posts, I'm going to add new and where I want it to go. I'm going to click on it and click on the little add block button. And we can search for PDF and better. And then we can open the media library to select the PDF. And I actually have one here. If you don't have one, then you can upload the PDF from your computer and we'll select it. And now we can publish this and see it in action. And this is what it will look like. As you see, the free version is good, but they'll need to click on these to go to the next page. But it looks much better than just having a download link on your website. Now, if you're still using the classic editor, the setup is similar. Simply add a new post or edit the post that you're working on. You want to put the cursor where you want the embedder to go, the unembedded PDF file to go, and then you can left click drag to upload the PDF to that area. And then you can click insert into post. And now you see that the PDF embedder adds this URL. Then you can click publish and then see it in action. And now once you set all of this up, make sure you watch this video next as I walk you through step by step on how to use the Gutenberg blog editor for your WordPress website. And I'll see you over there.